Uh, I was watching Les Stroud last night. I think he uses something similar to this when he's out hiking. And uh, he's kind of a comical guy. I mean, he really has a lot of really good information, but he does some really dumb things at the same time, like his trap thing that he's always putting together to, to uh, catch animals. I mean, first he says that any kind of an injury out in the wild uh, is really amplified because, like, if you break a finger out in the wild, there's no medical help, and, and you might not be able to light a match or use your knife correctly, so you really want to be careful about injuries. Then he makes a deadfall trap, and when he's setting up the very last piece of it, rather than putting a rock underneath it so if it fell, it would land on the rock, he doesn't. He puts his hands out, and the thing crashes down, and he's pulling his fingers out and shaking them and acting kind of weird. You know, I'm thinking, Les, hey, Les, put a rock underneath the deadfall, and after you get it all set, then take the rock out. It doesn't have to be right up against the rock, just enough so that when it comes down, it doesn't crash down to the ground and crush your, crunch your fingers. You know, I'm no survival guy, and I'm certainly no genius, but I think that's probably the way to go. You know, hey, what do I know? Just my opinion. That and 50 cents will get you a lukewarm cup of coffee out of the canteen machine. Uh, wow. There's a lot of snow here in the woods. I didn't realize how much we had, but uh, you can see. Uh, wow. I really wish this camera was 3D or you know, wide angle, high def, because <laughs> it's just I'm looking through the viewfinder here, and it's just not happening for me. Uh, you just need the three-dimensional thing to to really see the beauty out here. Uh, well, I'm going to loop around here and try to get back to the house. I, uh, I'm still working on my uh, heater project, my uh, on-demand water heater, but I had to stop for a little while because I need to uh, find some thin-walled, about 3 16 soft copper tubing that'll, that I can bend into a coil. Uh, to make it much more efficient. But to be perfectly honest with you, after doing the math and a few experiments, I think the downfall of the whole thing is going to be that by the time you heat up all this other stuff besides the pot, and then allow for the fact that anything with a surface on it, and that's everything, uh, tends to wick off heat, I think you're actually defeated just by the laws of physics. And I haven't found any loopholes in the law of physics yet. So, <laughs> it probably isn't going to work. But, that having been said, uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now that I know that, uh, I can move on to the next idea. But, if I just write that off right from the get-go, then, uh, you know, you'll never learn anything that way. So, when a lot of people said, why are you building that? There's no practical purpose for it. That's not really the point. The point is just to try it to see what you can learn. And, Maybe you'll stumble onto something that's really a breakthrough, like the bongo stove was for me, you know? So, uh, that's the reason why I try all this weirdo stuff. This whole area here is a swamp, and you can see, if you look here, that uh, there's a, a drain or a small stream running down through here that... Uh, drains off the swamp. It runs down here, oh, I don't know, a quarter of a mile, takes a left and goes over and goes right down by the back edge of my house. And it runs all winter long. It's probably the main water supply for my well if I knew the truth of it. But uh, let me zoom in here a little bit so you can see that this water is, uh, a little bit. You can see it's, it runs pretty good. Uh, runs year round. I really like watching water run. I don't know why. Just uh, maybe a childhood thing. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Kind of pretty against the white snow. Uh, you need to get out and enjoy the outdoors if you possibly get the chance. Even if you just step out on your back deck and just stand out there in the cold for a few minutes and just get a feel of what it's like to be outside. Uh, and also... You don't have to be a dyed-in-the-wool, hardcore backpacker to enjoy my site and my stoves and all my equipment and stuff. You can take a warm summer day and just go out on the back deck and boil water for a cup of coffee. And that's just fine with me because this isn't some hardcore backpacking club. 
It's just simply a mini bull designed cult where we just like to have a good time and enjoy the equipment and the sport to any degree. Uh, there is no minimum required. So I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Like I said, try to get out and do a little hiking. Take a friend, cook some meals out on the trail if you get the chance, and more important than anything, have a really great day. Bye-bye. Oh, and while you're at it, try to support my sponsors. That's what makes this whole thing work correctly. And bottom line, that's what pays for YouTube, Google, and everything else that goes on on the Internet. So be kind and support the sponsors. It's good for you. It's good for me. It's good for everybody. Keep the whole thing working just the way it's supposed to. Bye-bye. Life is good.